Okay, every night I get to look at that. Now I'm at the tail end of it. Let me see if I can kind of move in. So a viewer asked me, in Armenia, is it muggy? Well, we're going to look at that. So what is muggy? Well, muggy is humid, but it's humid to the point where it's uncomfortable. So does it get uncomfortable in Armenia due to humidity? And I will say, rarely. Now, every place where you get rain, you're going to get high humidity, and it depends on a few things. Primarily, what the temperature is, and is the air dead? Is it stagnant, or is it constantly moving? Now, what you have in Armenia are temperatures that are really comfortable temperatures. Rain or no rain, they're comfortable temperatures. The average high is between 73 and 76 degrees. Now, it does occasionally go up to 80, even as much as 83, but that's very rare. You might have that a few times a year. So, you're essentially spending every day in the 70s. But more than that, because of the patterns of these mountains, is there's almost always a breeze going on. Again, it is rare to have a, a day when the air is just stagnant, where it's just dead. Now, it can occasionally happen. Uh, as many times as I've been here over the years, uh, it, it, it doesn't even come to my memory. But I do recall, in general, having a few days where I was out walking, and it was a little warm. Another plus with the type of rain is that there are clouds, and with those clouds comes a UV protection. In some places in the Andes, because you're on or near the equator, the sun can be really harsh. Uh, if you go back to a video a long time ago when I did the Vilcabamba trip, my first one. So it was two, three years ago where I bought that hat, the famous hat, so-called Panama hat that are made in Ecuador. Wow, what a rain. Got about a week left in the rainy season. That's a feel of paint off your car. Because the top of my head felt like it was going to explode. I mean, I could fry eggs on my head. That kind of sun is fierce. It's, it might only be 83, 85 degrees in Vilcabamba on that day, but the way that sun was, I mean, it, it was painful. You could tell that if you were in that kind of sun very long, you could, you could do some damage. Now, as overcast as it tends to be here, you don't really experience many days where the UV is very high. But when it's not raining, it's magnificent. Again, it's not to say that you don't have those days. We had those days in New York with high UV. You will get that occasionally, but it's not as common here. Do we have a lot of rain in Armenia? And the answer is yes. We get a fair amount of rain. As a matter of fact, about eight, eight and a half months of the year could technically be considered the rainy season. Now, it's not all at one time, but throughout the year you have moments where it's particularly rainy. There's two months of the year where the rain is pretty strong. It's frequent and strong. We happen to be in one right now. Uh, it should be ending soon. But if you got eight and a half months of rainy season, then you are only got three and a half months of dry season. So therefore, it's raining all the time, right? Well, no, not exactly. Well, consider this. To be a rainy month, you can look this up in Wikipedia. So I'm not going to give you a lot of stats. But to consider a rainy month, it doesn't take much inch of uh, rain to, to be considered a rainy month. What's really important is how that rain and when that rain is delivered. 
What is rare in Armenia is to have all day rains. Now in those couple months, that's when it will occur. But through the rest of the year, nine, 10 months of the year, having those all day, all night rains, it, it just doesn't really happen. Today, for example, we have a 93% humidity. Whoa, it seems like a lot, right? And, and, and no, because the temperature is 70 degrees and as usual, there's a constant breeze. It's, it actually feels extremely comfortable and refreshing. It is not the least bit uncomfortable, even at 93 degrees. Now, if we crank this temperature up to 85 degrees, and if you tone down the breeze, it would be unbearable. It would just feel like you just want to lay down and die. I need a fan, I need air conditioning. That's not something that I experience here, and I never have. Now to the upside, the rain obviously brings a lot of advantages, right? Now we know that. First of all, this is the coffee triangle. It's an agricultural area. It is not just coffee. There's bananas and plantains and various tropical fruits, even though it doesn't ever feel tropical. It's a food growing area. And so, of course, you need an abundance of rain for that. So one of the beauties and charms of this particular area around the Andes Mountains, this coffee triangle, is the fact that it's lush, it's green, it's, it's just a beautiful area with, with an abundant amount of resources. You wouldn't get that unless you had the level of rain that you get here. Another thing about the rain here is it keeps the temperatures cool. I mean, that's part of the function. You know, how can you be over 5,000 feet near the equator and, and not be in the midst of a heat wave, right? Well, part of that is the amount of rain. And with the rain, you get evaporation. There's a natural cooling that takes place. And because of its particular location here in Armenia, now this is not true for Pereira or other areas, but in Armenia, because of the particular configuration of where it is located, where the mountains are, it generates this constant breeze, this natural air conditioning. And you combine that with a certain amount of rainfall, it's cooling, it's comfortable, it's refreshing. The rain helps make that engine work. Then of course, you, you know, when you get daily rain or frequent rain, it keeps things clean, which is always nice. And last I'll mention about the rain is this area has great drinking water. Now, Columbia in general, many areas you can drink water out of the tap. We don't have this huge parasite issue as a lot of places have. This is not Mexico. You have a good infrastructure and you have good clean water to begin with. You have good sources. In Armenia, that, that holds true. And I know there's people here that will filter their water, whether they're local or visitors, they'll filter their water. But I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm very cautious about water. But for years, I've, I just drink the water here and I've never had any issues, never had any problems. Now, is it possible that I could at some point? Yeah, it's possible. It's always better to be more cautious. But what I'm saying is that based on my time and experience here, which goes back, as, as you probably know, about 16 years, um, it's never really been a concern for me and I've never had any real problems over it. So I'm talking about all this rain. It rains all the time, right? Well, no, and that's another beautiful thing about the particular location and climate of Armenia. And it's one of the reasons I just love being here, aside from this natural air conditioning. When does it rain? Now, nothing is always, but I'm going to give you a good generalization. You get up in the morning and the sun's shining. You go out, you do the things that you need to do. Even during the rainy season, when the rain usually comes, is in the afternoon. Now again, I'll exclude those couple months where it just rains, rains, rains. During those six and a half months where it's classified as rainy season, you might get a half hour, hour, maybe two hour shower in the afternoon or in the evening. 
that's what it typically would be. So that means virtually every day you get up, you're waking up to sunshine. You're out, you're doing things, you go shopping. It's a nice day. You get home, you're putting your groceries away, you're settling in for the day, that's when it rains, who cares, right? And if the temperature got up a little bit, all it's doing is just kind of cooling it down anyway. So if you know that, you can kind of, even, even when it's a rainy season, you can kind of plan your days for the mornings. And the rest of the year, the other you know, nine, 10 months of the year, you just do what you want to do, but understand if it's going to rain, you're going to get some sprinkles or a little rain shower. It's probably going to be in the afternoon or evening. And again, there's exceptions to that, but that's generally the way that works. Should you carry an umbrella? Yeah, for probably half of the year, it's a good idea to carry an umbrella, but if not, it's not the end of the world. You really should during those couple months where you get more than the rest of the year in, in rain. What Armenia is not, it's not a tropical monsoon area. And there are people that haven't spent time here that just have that belief because they look up the Weather Channel and they look up history and patterns and they'll see an amount of rainfall. They just think that there's so much and it's raining all the time. And it's really not the case. Because it happens occasionally doesn't mean that's what it is. Because you get a high of maybe 83 doesn't mean that your days are 83 degrees. You know, you have to look at the stats a little more carefully and not jump to conclusions. And more than that, the patterns, the temperatures, everything that combines makes for an absolutely wonderful climate. You need rain. I mean, if you're living in a place that's not getting a fair amount of rain, then you're sacrificing a lot of other positives, a lot of other benefits to your life. So how that rain is delivered, what the temperatures are, makes a world of difference. Now, I spent a little time in the Philippines. I was there for about a month straight. And it rained all the time. But it was over 100 degrees every day. It was unbearable. I, it, it just, <laughs> it took me weeks just to get acclimated. About the time I finally got acclimated to it where I could just walk 10 feet without feeling like I was gonna die. And I was in great shape at that time. That was about the time I'm getting ready to leave. It's, it's really a miserable existence that you can't get used to, but it's just naturally not a very comfortable thing. When the air temperature is constantly higher than your body temperature, and when it's always muggy, 100% humidity, 100% humidity, over 100 degrees in temperature, that's not a fun thing. But when you have 70 degree temperature and the humidity is not that, as high as that, it, it becomes a very comfortable thing. So you can't just assume one thing is going to be the same as another. I hope that didn't confuse you. I hope that helps clear up that question about is it muggy. Bottom line, every now and then, but it's pretty rare. For the most part, it's refreshing, comfortable, great climate.